curb flashing. Mule hide requires base attachment at all angle changes of two inches per foot or greater. On EPDM membranes, it can be accomplished by using either RMS or all-purpose bar. We have used all-purpose bar in this demonstration. Measure four inches or seven inches from outside edge of membrane securement to determine the area to prime. Prime the membrane around the base of the curb, extending slightly beyond the area needed to meet seam requirements, and allow to dry until tacky. Install seam tape from corner to corner on the outside edge of the base attachment. Roll the seam tape with a two inch steel roller to ensure a proper bond. Measure the width of flashing needed. It is always best to extend the flashing on top and to the inside edge of the curb. If the flashings do not extend on top of the curb, water cutoff and termination bar will be required to complete the detail. Measure the distance around the curb and then add four inches or seven inches, depending on the width of seam tape required. Here we are using three inch seam tape. Mark seam areas on the back of the flashing to help keep adhesive out of the seam. Apply approved bonding adhesive to both the curb and the back of the membrane. Do not apply glue in the seam area. Allow the adhesive to dry until tacky. Snap reference line on flashing to help keep flashing level. Next, hang flashing by setting a reference line to your reference point. Start at one outside corner and use slight tension to eliminate wrinkles as you work all the way around the curb. Cut the excess membrane at the last corner by making a 45 degree cut down to the corner on the vertical and then a straight cut on the horizontal to remove the excess membrane. Prime the flashing flange while it is still on the curb and allow it to dry until tacky. Cut corners to allow membrane to fall over the seam tape. Ensure proper seam tape exposure and trim as necessary. Be sure membrane is tucked tight to the base of the curb, then remove the seam tape release liner. Mate the seam by lightly swiping perpendicular to the edge of the seam. Then, roll all splice areas with a two inch wide steel roller. Prime both sides of the vertical seam and allow to dry until tacky. Set the seam tape tight to the corner of the curb. Trim the membrane as required to provide the proper seam tape exposure. Remove seam tape release liner and complete the seam. Roll the seam with a two inch steel roller.